What's up guys, welcome back once again, and in this video I'll show you how you can make an intro for your YouTube videos with a software called Blender. Now this is totally free and safe as well, so don't worry about any viruses or anything like that. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to actually get the software, so go into Blender.org and click on the latest version, which is the 2.78a in this case, so I'm going to click on that. So click uh, or select your uh, version or whatever it's called. Uh, if you have Windows, go ahead and select for Windows. If you have Mac, select for Mac, and so on. Now, if you don't know which one you have, if you don't know uh, if you have the 64-bit or 32-bit on Windows, uh, you can easily search this PC on your computer and right-click on this PC, click on Properties, and basically want to check the system type. So I have the 64-bit operating system, so I know that I'm going to select 64-bit. Uh, but if you have 32-bit, you want to select that one. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to cancel it because I already have Blender, as you can see right there. So uh, basically complete the setup, install Blender, and open it up, and it will look like this. So once Blender is opened, it will look like this for you now. Since you've just installed it, uh, you might not be so familiar with the settings, and that's why we're going to take a template, and I'm going to show you how you can uh, change the text, uh, how to edit the music, put in your own music, uh, render it completely, and some other stuff. So let's go. On YouTube, you can find a lot of intro templates for Blender. So basically search, uh, oops, basically search intro template blender and make sure to add Mediafire as well because it's the, you know, it's the safest place where you can download intro templates because people actually upload them there and it's the uh, fastest way as well. So go ahead and search that. As you can see, there are a lot of videos on this, uh, you know, top tens, everything. So going, I'm going to just, just going to cl uh, click on a random. All right. I've already watched this. Um, so go ahead and select nine. Uh, yeah, let's go and select 9. So basically, you will uh, be navigated to a website, uh, the Mediafire. This is actually where they upload the templates, uh, in this case. So basically, uh, click on download, and we're going to actually wait until this um, is completed. And once it's completed, we're going to click on it. So I'm just going to speed this up now. So fast forward, once it is done, you basically want to click on it. Now, if you don't get it, if you don't get, uh, one sec, if you don't get the Blender uh, icon right there, and if you get like a RAR or a zip icon or something like that, basically open it up in its file and click on it until you find the Blender icon. So yeah. But once you've opened it up, it will look like this for you now. First thing you're probably wondering, uh, how do I put in my name right there instead of template? And that's really easy. So move your mouse cursor to uh, the text and right click on it and then click tab and then backspace it out. But as you can see, uh, the text is still there. And that's because this is a 3D intro. All 3D intros have two layers of texts, so you have to do it two times. So I'm going to put in my name, or Manator. Now, I'm no, I know it doesn't fit, and I'm going to get to that in a bit. So if your name doesn't fit the frame, uh, I'm going to show you how to change that, basically. So go ahead and put in your name first, and once you've done that, click on Tab. Now I have to do this on uh, the other text as well, so right-click on this, Tab, backspace it out, and put in my name again. So there we go, it's 3D now. And it doesn't fit the frame, so click tab. Always, always click tab once you're done uh, typing your name. So I'm going to reduce the size of the text. And how do I do that? Basically, go right here, click on this F. And once you've done that, you just want to scroll down until you see size. So to increase and reduce uh, the size of this, you can easily uh, put in numbers. Or you can hold this, click and hold, and move your mouse up and down on your mouse pad. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm moving my mouse up and down my mouse pad. And right, as you can see right now, it's supposed to. Yeah, there we go. So now it's going to fit the frame. So there we go. Right there. That's perfect. So I want the this exact uh, size uh, on the other layer as well. Now, how do I do that? Easily, just click right here. Click on Control c to copy this. And go to the other layer. So right-click on the other layer. Go to the same F. Go to Size and paste it in click enter and there you go so this is the same size and it looks cool all right so once that's done i'm now going to show you how you can put in your own music that you for instance downloaded and that's really easy just go up here to the screen layout click on it and then click on video editing so now you'll see an audio track and this is the audio of the song that they use in the intro template now you obviously want to remove this and put in your own song so click on the track click on delete on your keyboard and then click on uh, erase strips. So now go to the folder where you located your uh, song, and I put it in my music. And here's the song. 
So I'm going to click and drag it into the timeline. And there you go. Now you want to place it at the beginning. So click on it and then right click and hold. And then drag it to the beginning. And once it's at zero right there, you want to let go and left click. There you go. You have your song in the intro. So the last step is to render all this. So go back to the default page by clicking on the screen layout and clicking on default. After you've done that, you want to click on this camera icon right here and scroll down until you see output. So click on this arrow and name your intro to my intro uh, 2017 or something like that. After you've done that, you want to click this uh, folder icon beside it. And once you've done that, go to your desktop and click on accept. So once you've done that, you've basically located your intro. So once it is done rendering, uh, it will be located on your desktop or in the desktop file. So that's very good. After you've done that, you want to scroll down even more until you find encoding. After you've done that, you want to change the format to QuickTime because QuickTime uh, gives you the opportunity to, or it enables uh, the intro, uh, the video basically, to be in your editing software. And if you pick, for example, I don't know, this flash it won't work so you have to have quicktime or xvid xvid also works very good but i recommend quicktime it's you know it's safer so after that you just want to change the audio codec to mp3 and you're done after that you can change this one to mp uh, eg as well after that you're done all everything's done you just want to scroll up go up again and click on animation right here boom so now your intro is rendering and it is going very fast. So yeah, I'll play it up right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you thought it was helpful and efficient, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. By subscribing, you won't miss out on any content and it will be updated whenever I upload a video. Apart from that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.